Okay, everybody, we're back again for part three of our interview with John Schultz. Uh, John, is is there anybody that helped you during your racing days that you uh, give thanks to or anything like that? Well, in my earlier years, we went, we had a lot of good guys, you know, and, mm -hmm. and but they always seemed to come and go. Um, my last years was my wife, Barb, and my son, Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, we could get her all done with just the three of us if we needed to. It's definitely helpful to have a supportive family. Oh, yes. In family the family's important. Yeah. And the nice thing about racing is it, it, is it brings your family together, and it, it helps you bond better, keeps Correct. you out of trouble, all that good stuff. Uh, did you have any good sponsors that helped you at all? Uh, there were some that, that followed me through the years. Uh, Blackberry Store was one that was always there. Mm -hmm. uh, Pretty decent sponsor. Yeah, a, a supportive sponsor definitely yeah. doesn't hurt either. Um, so you quit racing in the mid '90s when you were running Superstock, and you handed the reins over to your son Paul, and then he started racing. Was it probably '94, maybe yeah, somewhere around somewhere there. there? Okay. So, and he currently still races. Yes. The, the car yeah. you, we see behind you, the sprint car. This is what he's doing now, along with A mods. Right. Okay. Right A mod. Okay. Do you enjoy watching him race? Oh, very much so. I still stand up in the corner, up in the trailer, and when he goes and makes those corners, I still lean in those corners and back and forth, and I'm just right there. It just seems like I'm part of that. Do you enjoy watching him race more than you enjoyed racing yourself, or is it hard to make a comparison there? Today I do. So but I think if I'd have been younger, you know... Uh, it would have been fun to rub wheels with them. Mm -hmm. So your son Paul has been racing for nearly 25 years now, I believe. Is there any signs of him wanting to get out of the sport yet? Uh, not yet, but we're slowing down. Mm -hmm. We're slowing down. You don't hit as many shows as you used to do right. and stuff like that. Correct. Okay. Uh, so you're still involved in racing. You go and you watch Paul. Yes. And, and you help work on the car and stuff. So you're still actively involved in racing. Right. I do most of the motor stuff on the A-Mod. And uh, we have Kevin Castle, who has been with us for a long time now. He's mm -hmm. super guy. And then uh, wherever I'm needed, I work. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you like to watch racing, and it doesn't even matter if Paul's racing. You travel around to watch races at different places. Oh, yes. You're, you're still a pretty heavy race fan. Yep. You just got back from Humboldt's Speedway Correct. watching the, race, the King yep. of America down there. What, what is your opinion of today's racing? Uh, today's racing, it's more in the pocketbook, out of the pocketbook than it is the experience, the knowledge, mm -hmm. the building your own stuff. Back in your days, you had to trudge through a junkyard. Right. And, you, could, and you could get things out of it. You had to scrounge. Yep. Nowadays, a lot of stuff is over the shelf. Right. So it's more convenient, but along with that convenience comes a cost. The costs are terrible, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you see racing going in the future? I hope ahead, but mm -hmm. uh, it's getting tough. Mm -hmm. We need to get fans. We need to get people interested back into it. It's such a family sport that I just can't believe more people aren't doing it. Okay. So, if I left you with the last word, is there anything you have to say then? Yeah. To Just anybody? Come, come to the races. Give a, give Grand Rapids and Hibbing another chance. Give give these guys another chance. And we got to work together and get this done. And hopefully we can kind of get some fans back, get some more cars Correct. back, and, and keep the sport alive. Yes. Because, yeah, I, I couldn't imagine what it would be like without the tracks open. We'd sure, you, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right, John. Well, I thank you for taking your time out and sitting down and doing this interview with us. I really appreciate it. And, and like I say, it's great to see you again. And uh, sometime this summer, I'll see you at the track. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you, John.